All right, hoop heads, that's the buzzer for today's predictions. Big thanks for rolling with us. If you're vibing with our picks, slam that subscribe button and get on board. Catch you on the court tomorrow. Peace. Today's first prediction is for the matchup between Philadelphia 76ers and Oklahoma City Thunder. The 76ers are storming the court with a high-octane offense, boasting a field goal percentage of 48.7% and racking up a 115.2 points on the scoreboard per game. They're crushing it on the boards, too, pulling down an average of 40.9 rebounds each outing. Joel Embiid, now tagged as probable, is set to bring his powerhouse game under the rim, making him a game-changer. But... The sideline story of Kelly Oubre Jr. could throw a wrench in their wing dynamics and defensive agility. The Thunder are lighting up the hoop with their sharpshooting prowess this season. They're netting a field goal percentage of 46.5% and dropping an average of 117.5 points per game. Dominating the paint as well, they average 43.6 rebounds per game. However, the absence of Jalen Williams might leave a gap in their backcourt lineup and put a dent in their defensive hustle. Looking back at their matchups, the Thunder historically have the edge over the 76ers, yet recent showdowns paint a picture of a more neck-and-neck -neck battle. Both squads are proven scoreboard smashers, setting the stage for a points galore face-off. The injury bulletin is key here. With major players either benched or playing under constraints, Embiid's likely comeback could turbocharge the 76ers on both ends of the court. The Thunder, missing Williams, could feel the heat more in defense, especially in containing Embiid and the 76ers' scoring brigade. The 76ers, with their scoring prowess, rebounding edge, and Embiid's probable entry, seem to hold the aces in this clash. The Thunder's marksmanship is commendable, but their rebounding woes and thinner bench, courtesy of Williams' absence, might swing the advantage to Philadelphia's side. So, my bets on the Philadelphia 76ers, their offensive and defensive balance, combined with the Thunder's struggles, positions them not just to win, but also to beat the spread in this face-off. The next prediction is for the match between Miami Heat and Brooklyn Nets. The Miami Heat are blazing the trail at 10-6, riding high on a wave of nine wins in their last 11 showdowns. Yet, they stumbled in their recent nail-biter against the Knicks, faltering in the final quarter. Stars Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo have been the driving force, though injuries sideline Duncan Robinson and Tyler Harrow. Meanwhile, the Brooklyn Nets at 6-8 are grappling with a rough patch, losing four of their recent six games. Their overtime tussle with the Hawks ended in heartbreak, despite McCall Bridges' shining performance. Absences like Ben Simmons, Cam Thomas, and Dennis Smith Jr., Pile on the pressure for the Nets. On the stat sheet, the Nets are rebound kings, but fall short in pilfering the ball. The Heat, masters at forcing turnovers, need to up their blocking game. Miami's betting trends reveal a rocky track record against Brooklyn, yet they've shown muscle on the road and against Eastern Conference rivals. Brooklyn's victories may waver, but they've been acing the spread notably in their own backyard and against Southeast Division adversaries. In recent head-to-heads, it's been a clash of titans between the Heat and Nets. Their latest face-off saw Miami narrowly clinching victory. The Barclays Center battles have been fiercely balanced, with each team snatching victories. Weighing their current form, stats, and past skirmishes, my bet is on the Miami Heat. They've shown grit on unfamiliar courts and have the upper hand in recent duels with the Nets. Despite key player absences on both sides, Miami's turnover tactics and steadiness tip the scales in their favor. Brooklyn's home turf strength and rebounding skills are formidable, but the Heat surge may just be the deciding factor. I'm backing the Miami Heat to triumph and beat the 3.5 point spread. The next prediction is for the match between Atlanta Hawks and Washington Wizards. The Atlanta Hawks are gearing up for a showdown against the Washington Wizards at the Capital One Arena. The Hawks are balling with a solid 7-7 record, lighting up the scoreboard with a hefty 124.1 points per game, snagging the second spot in scoring. Their shooting game is on point, sinking 50.8% of their mid-range shots and nailing 36.63% from downtown. At the charity stripe, they're clutch with an 83.9% average 
and they're tearing up the court with 17.9 fast break points a game. Meanwhile, the Wizards are struggling this season with a 2-13 record, but they're still putting up a fight, dropping 57.1 points in the paint per game and shooting a solid 71.1% in the restricted area. The Wizards bench is stepping up too, chipping in with an average of 20 points minutes per game. In their recent face-offs, the Hawks have been owning the court against the Wizards, boasting an 8-2 record in their last 10 games and going undefeated in their last three matchups at the Capital One Arena. The Hawks have a slight edge in field goal percentage in these games, showcasing their shooting skills. The game could be swayed by injuries, with the Wizards possibly missing Rollins and Koulibaly, who are dealing with knee issues. This could be a game-changer, especially facing a well-balanced Atlanta squad. Taking into account team dynamics, head-to-head stats, shooting accuracy, and injury updates. It looks like the Hawks might clinch the win. Their offensive might and recent superiority over the Wizards, especially in Washington, put them in a favorable spot. However, covering a nine-point spread seems a tall order for a team that's not at its best, particularly on the road. My bet. Total points over 248. The next prediction is for the match between Los Angeles Lakers and Cleveland Cavaliers. In the thrilling world of basketball, the Los Angeles Lakers, boasting a solid 9-7 record, are all set to clash with the Cleveland Cavaliers, who are hot on their heels with an 8-7 record. This showdown is set to take place at the famed Rocket Mortgage Field House. On the scoring front, the Lakers have a slight edge, racking up an average of 112.38 points per game, just nudging past the Cavaliers' average of 110.87. When it comes to sinking shots, the Lakers are shooting stars with a field goal percentage of 48.97%, outshining the Cavaliers' 47.59%. Beyond the arc, the Cavaliers show their might, boasting a three-point success rate of 35.34%, a whisker ahead of the Lakers' 34.26%. The battle of the boards is also a tight affair. The Lakers snatch an average of 44.50 rebounds per game, divided into 8.31 offensive and 36.19 defensive rebounds. The Cavaliers are neck and neck, grabbing an average of 44.40 rebounds, including 10.33 offensive and 34.07 defensive rebounds. This slight edge in offensive rebounds could be a game changer for the Cavaliers, possibly tipping the scales in second chance points. The injury lineup is crucial for both teams. The Lakers are currently without Hachimura, James, Vanderbilt, Reddish, and Vincent, while the Cavaliers miss the presence of Wade, Okoro, Mitchell, Jerome, and Rubio. Reflecting on their last 10 head-to-head games, the Lakers dominate with a 7-3 record, and their field goal percentage in these games is a commendable 49.20%, eclipsing the Cavaliers' 44.77%. Weighing their current form, historical clashes, scoring prowess, and rebounding capabilities, the scales seem to tilt in favor of the Los Angeles Lakers. Their scoring efficiency and track record against the Cavaliers position them as the team to bet on. I'm putting my chips on the Lakers to surpass the plus 5.5 point spread. The next prediction is for the match between New Orleans Pelicans and Utah Jazz. The New Orleans Pelicans, rocking an 8-7 slate, have been balling out with some serious upside, even minus heavy hitters like C.J. McCollum and Trey Murphy. With the trio of Brandon Ingram, Zion Williamson, and Jonas Valanciunas dropping buckets, the Pelicans are racking up an average of 103.5 points per game, sinking shots at a solid 47.4%. But even with these fly stats and their recent hot streak, the history books throw shade on their chances in Salt Lake City. They've been getting schooled at the Vivint Arena, snagging just one win against the Jazz in their last six face-offs there. This sketchy past, plus the grind of playing back-to-back, might throw them off their game. Flip the script to the Utah Jazz, sitting at 411, and it's been a season of fumbles. Their latest L to the Trailblazers put a spotlight on their shaky D, letting opponents nail 51.1% of their field goals. But on their home court, the Jazz have been schooling the Pelicans, bagging most of their recent showdowns in Salt Lake City. This home turf swag might be a game changer considering the Pelicans' not-so-hot track record at the Vivint. Weighing it all up, the Pelicans' slick moves this season against the Jazz's home turf hustle were looking at a nail-biter. The Pelicans might have the edge on the court, but the Jazz's home game swagger 
and their Salt Lake City reign could even out the odds. Given the clash of styles, the Pelicans' current groove versus the Jazz's home court legacy, this showdown set to be a neck-and-neck -neck battle. I'm playing with the odds on total points here, banking on them, staying below 234. The last prediction for today is for the match between Dallas Mavericks and Los Angeles Clippers. It's game time at the Crypto.com arena, where the Dallas Mavericks are set to clash with the Los Angeles Clippers in a hoop showdown that's got everyone talking. Dallas, riding high with a stellar 10-5 to record, is squaring up against the Clippers, who are trailing with a 6-8 to tally. Here's the scoop on the stats. Dallas is leading the scoreboard with an impressive average of 121.53 points, dunking over the Clippers 113.15. They're also slightly ahead in the shooting game, boasting a field goal percentage of 47.70% compared to the Clippers, 47.6%. Plus, Dallas is nailing the three-pointers at 38.28%, just edging out the Clippers, 37.04%. But don't count the Clippers out yet. They're bossing the boards with 44.54 rebounds, especially on the defensive end, compared to Dallas's 42.80. In their recent face-offs, it's a tight race with both teams locked at 5-5 in their last 10 matchups, but Dallas has the upper hand in their recent battles at this very arena, leading to one. They've also shown better shooting form in these encounters, a crucial factor in predicting who'll come out on top. The odds opened with Dallas as the slight favorites at minus one, five points, but the spreads widened to minus two, signaling growing faith in their dominance. On the health check, Dallas is missing Maxi Kleber, while the Clippers are down Brandon Boston Jr. and Mason Plumley. Considering all these angles, especially Dallas's sharper shooting and scoring prowess, my money's on Dallas not just to win, but to slam that spread. They're consistently outplaying on the offensive, a key to victory in high-pressure games. I'm all in on the Dallas Mavericks to snag the win and beat the minus 1.5-point spread. All right, ballers and shot callers. That's the final whistle on our game day guesses. Major shout out for bouncing through the plays with us. If our predictions are scoring points with you, smash that subscribe like a backboard and leap into our lineup. Catch you for the next tip off. Stay smooth till then.